from Paramount Studios in Hollywood, it's television's most exciting new game, Wipeout! And here to pit their knowledge and strategy against the Wipeout are Valerie Munoz, Jeffy Mackey, and Don Fawcett. The one who fares the best could drive off in this Bronco 2 4x4. And now, here's your host, the star of Wipeout, Peter Tomarkin. I think it's Tim Hackett. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Wipeout. I want to welcome all you folks at home. Hope you're having a good time. We're having a great time here. Aren't we having a great time here? Yeah. This is a great group. We're having a ball. Uh, I can tell you one thing. The contestants are having a great time because they're all trying to figure out which one of them is going to get the chance to drive off in a brand new car. So we'll find out with you. Let's, uh, let's talk to him. We have Valerie with us. Hello. And Valerie, you work for the LAPD? Yes, I do. What do you do? I'm a secretary. Uh-huh. Is uh -huh. it an interesting job? Very interesting. But you, says, you say you're naive and, and gullible, is that true? I tend to be led astray with certain stories and things. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, this game, we'll find out about that. Right. Good luck, Valerie. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Jeff, is it Jeffy? Jeffy. Hi. Hi. Uh, you are a grocery clerk? Yeah. From where? Where do you work? In Chino. In Chino. So you uh, came in here to play the game and drive back. That's right. Uh-huh. Well, good luck to you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And Don is with us. And uh, Don, um, you have a uh, charity organization that you work for? Well, I write advertising for a living, but for fun, I'm a volunteer with a worldwide network of hosts who want to meet foreign travelers and offer them homestay. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm looking for a home myself, actually. Well, <laughs> I, should, us I should talk to you, right? right. <laughs> All right, Don, good to have you with us, and best of luck to all of you. Let's play the game. All right, gang, 16 answers on our board. 11 will be correct, 5 will be incorrect. Your job is a simple one. Find the 11 correct answers with the first one worth $25, then $50, $75, etc. So the final correct answer is worth $275. Now, uh, a wipeout, that means you lose your money as well as your turn, so you want to be careful because only the two top players will make it to the challenge round. That third player won't. So stay out of third place. Hey, hot spot music to my ears. That means behind one of the correct answers on the board, there is a prize. Hot spot time. Jim, what is it today? Oh, today, Peter, you're going to like this one. It's a vacation in beautiful Palm Springs for a hot spot winner this time. And now stay at the Oasis Water Resort Villa Hotel near Fame Canyon Drive Shopping. Plus, admission each day to the water resort with one of California's largest wave action pools. The total cost of this trip, Peter, is over $1,200. Nice trip to Palm Springs for a hot spot. Valerie, you drew first position, so you get first shot at the board. You can uh, pass if you so desire, but you must make at least one selection before you pass. All right, gang, let's look at our board. You probably know Benjamin Franklin's portrait is on the $100 bill. But let's see what else you know about Big Ben. Eleven of these facts are correct. Valerie, give me one to start. Okay, Peter. Postmaster of Philadelphia. Postmaster of Philadelphia. Is that true about Ben? Yes, it is. And that's $25. Good start. Ten correct answers left. Valerie, play a pass. Play, play. I'll play. Okay. Um, popular in France. Popular in France. Let's find out if he was. Sure he was. That's $75. Nine correct left, Valerie. Um, Peter, I think I'll pass. Pass. Jeffy, up to you. There are nine correct left. It's worth $75 if you're right. Uh, how about the first Secretary of State? Let's find out if he was the first Secretary of State. Yeah. Oh, he was not. All right, no big loss. Didn't cost you any money. We'll go to Don now with nine correct answers, four wipeouts. The correct answer's worth $75. Don? I think Franklin's credited with inventing the lightning rod. Let's see if he did invent the lightning rod. Yes, he did. You're up to 75. Tied with Valerie. Player pass, eight correct answers left out of 12. Okay. okay. Pick me another. I believe he was the founder of University of Pennsylvania. University of Pennsylvania, we'll find out. Yes, he was. All right, John. You're up to 175. First place by 107 correct left out of 11. Get a player pass. I'll pass. Pass. All right, Valerie, to you, $75. What you have? This one's worth $125 if you're right. There's seven right. Well, um, let's try, try to cure baldness. Let's find out if he did try to cure baldness. <laughs> no, he didn't. What, what happened, Don? Ah, yes. Yeah, he did. All, right. All right, Valerie, we go to Jeffy. Seven correct answers left out of ten. Give me a correct one. It's worth 125. I bet his dad made candles. You think his uh, dad made candles? We're going to find out if he did. 
Yay! Make candles and uh, got you a hot spot. Tito and Tom's brain is still, still a vacation. You want to hold on to that because should you wipe out during the course of this round, it goes back up behind another right answer on the screen. And you have to be one of the two players to move to the challenge round to keep it. If you have $125 second place, there are six correct answers left. To Don, all right, Don, six out of nine, not bad odds. It's worth 150 if you're right. I think I've read that Benjamin was one of 17 children. Let's find out if he's one of 17 children. That's a lot. Yes, he was. All right, Don, that moves you up to $325. Five correct left player pass. First place by 200. I'll pass. Pass. Valerie, to you. You're up now. It's worth 175 if you're right. Hi. Okay, let's try failed math. Let's try to see if he failed math. Interesting. He did. There's hope for all of us. All right, Valerie, you're back in the running. 175 second place. Four correct left out of seven. Okay, died in France. Did he die in France? Let's find out. No, he didn't die in France. Lose your 175. Let's go to Jeffy. Four correct left out of six. It's worth 200 if you're right. Hold on to that hot spot, Jeffy. I'm athletically inclined. He probably was too. How about a good swimmer? How about a good swimmer? Let's find out if he could swim. Yeah, he could. He was good. That brings you up to 325. First place tie with Don. Three correct left out of five. Player pass. Yeah. Pass. Don, to you. Give me an answer. Three correct ones, two wipeouts. I believe Franklin had a son out of wedlock. Did he have a son out of wedlock? Let's find out. Yes, he did. Also had one out of wedlock. So that's two out of four. We now have 550 first place. There are two answers left. They're correct. Player right pass. I'll pass. Pass. Valerie, you're back in the running. 250. Give me a correct answer. Um, I'll try born in England. Born in England. Well, he didn't die in France and he wasn't born in England. So wipe out. We'll go to Jeffy. 325. The hot spot's on the line. There are two correct answers out of three. Not bad odds. Jeffy, give me a correct one. It's worth 250. Ain't no meat. Ain't no meat. Let's find out if he was a vegetarian. Yes, he was. Jeffy, nice going. You're up to now. 575, first place by $25. You can play a pass one left out of two. That's correct. Pass done. Here's the situation. If you get the correct one, you'll move on to the challenge round. If you pick the other one, then it's a tie between you and Valerie. Are you ready? Give me the correct answer. There are only one up there. He signed the Declaration of Independence. Let's find out if he signed the Declaration of Independence. Yes, he did. Valerie, no dollars. Good, 575. Don, 825. And that means that Jeffy and Don, you're going on to the challenge round. Congratulations to you. And uh, Valerie, we have some nice gifts for you. Thank, Thank you for being you. with us, all right? Jeffy and Don, you'll be back, and we'll be back after these words. Don't go away. Take it away, Peter. All right. Thank you very much. We're back with Jeffy. And Don, both of you cleaned up rather nicely. Jeffy, 575 in the hot spot. Don, eight and a quarter. We're going to take all those beautiful dollars and put them away in a safe place. <laughs> Told her not to call me here. In any event, we're going to... I'll get it back for you. Trust me. <laughs> Tell them what they're playing for, Jeff. <laughs> you bet, Peter. Our second round winner and a companion will fly to Mexico. And they'll love their stay in fabulous Cancun because the Hotel Intercontinental is a luxury hotel located on its own white sandy beaches. Swimming pools, tennis courts, and deluxe rooms are combined for your comfort and dream vacation. The total cost of this trip, Peter, is over $2,000. Oh, Cancun is lovely. All right, gang, what we're going to do is show you a board with 12 answers, eight of which will be correct, four will be white bounce. Whoever gets the first two games wins this round, goes to Cancun, and goes to the bonus round before they go to Cancun. That sounds fair. What we're going to do is pit the two of you against one another. First, I'll ask Don, because he won the most money in round one, how many he can get right without wiping out. Then I'll go to Jeffy to see if she wants to increase the bid or call Don. We'll go back and forth until we get to the maximum number of eight bids or until one of you calls the other. Now, once that player's called, he or she must give me all the answers correctly that they bid. If not, the other player gets to jump in. Only one correct answer wins it. Are you ready? Okay, you're up, Don. Let's take a look at the board. Eight of these things come in threes. Let's see how many you can name. Don, how many can you name without wiping out? There are eight six. correct. Six. All right, Jeffy, you can go higher or you can call them on the six. I think I'm going to challenge. Challenge. All right, she's going to see if you can do six in a row. Don, if you can, you'll win the first game. If not, Jeffy, you'll get a chance to jump in. Six in a row. Here we go. Three wise men. All right, the wise men. Let's find out. Yes, indeed. 
Five to go. <laughs> Let's find out about the Stooges. I hope they're only three. Yes? Down to four. Three men in the tub. Rub a dub dub. You got it. That's uh, three. Three digits in your area code? Three digits in the area code? Let's see. That's correct. Down to two. Three strikes. And you're out. You got it. All right, Don. Let me give me one more. You win this uh, board. Take advantage. Three Star Wars films. Let's find out how many Star Wars films there were. Yes, indeed, three. You got it. Well done. First board's yours, John. Let's look at the other. The other correct answers were Cardinal Virtues and, believe it or not, Canadian doubles players. Those are the other ones. You got all uh, in a row, Don, and you mean you won the first game. We come back, you need one more. Jeffy, you need two, but I got great confidence. And you were coming back for the exciting conclusion of the challenge round after these words. Stay with me. Here's Peter. All right, thank you. We're back. And the score is Don one, Jeffy nothing. All right, Jeffy, you got to get uh, got to get into it in this one, and you're up on it. Let's take a look at the board. Which of these countries are in South America? Jeffy, how many can you get right without wiping out? There are eight correct up there. I think I can pick six. Six, pretty good. All right, Don, you have to go to seven, eight, or call her on. Seven, seven. All right, Jeffy, you have two choices. Either go to eight or call him on seven. I'll have to call him on seven. You think, uh, you think seven is what he's going to have? Well, I'll tell you something, Don. You're going to have to get seven in a row. There's only eight up there. If you miss one, Jeffy gets to jump in. It's a chance Jeffy's taken. Let's see, Don. Here we go. Seven in a row. Bolivia. Bolivia. That's one. Six to go. Uruguay. Uruguay. Let's find out. That's it. Five. Peru. Peru. Yes. Four. Ecuador. Ecuador. That's three to go, Don. Chile. Chile. Two to go. Argentina. Argentina. All right, Don. All you do is give me one more. You'll win the board. You'll get the trip to Cancun and the chance of the bonus. This is the big one. Guyana. Guyana. Let's find out if Guyana is correct. Well, you know the South American country. You got it. You got it. Don, you got two in a row. Congratulations. Don, what are the other correct ones up there? Uh, Suriname with a U instead of an E. Suriname. Yeah. Our, our crack staff will check that one out. <laughs> Suriname. <laughs> I guess I asked for that. Any <laughs> All right, Don, you're, you're going on to the bonus round, but Jeffy, you're leaving us with over $1,700 worth of goodies. Congratulations to you, and thanks for being with us. Don, come on over here. Congratulations. You got that trip to Cancun, and we're talking about a brand new car when we come back. Now, back to Wipeout. All right. We're back with Don, who has already uh, won $825 in round one, plus a trip to Cancun, plus showed us up. <laughs> Our misspelling of Suriname is correct. And uh, Cancun, have you been to Cancun, Don? No. Uh, well, the other one, you've been all around the world, though. That's, or, or your organization is worldwide. Has that helped you on the last one? In over 100 pick, the right, yes. pick the right thing, I'll tell you. Well, we've got something else for you to take a look at, and it's something kind of special in addition to what you've already won. Take a look at this. It's the new Ford Bronco 2 4x4. An easy handling on and off-road vehicle, both sporty and comfortable. Built for singles fun or a family outing from Walter Berge Ford. All right. I'll help you get around. Okay. We're going to make it relatively easy for you. No, we're not. We're going to make it very difficult because you're too good for you to win that uh, Bronco 2. Uh, what we're going to do is put up a question, and then we're going to give you 12 answers. Six will be correct. Six will be incorrect. You find the six correct answers, and you're driving away in the new Bronco, too. Fair enough? Fair enough. All right, I'll do it for you to give you an idea how it's done. My category would be year of the Chinese calendar. My 12 answers pop up. I'm going to want to pick six I think are correct. I do that by going to the board and touching the rim around the screens of those I think are correct. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I can't do a seventh. It won't light. So six, I come back as quickly as I can, hit the red buzzer to see how many I got correct. Whoa, I'm doing great. I got one, so I'm going to want to make some changes. 
in order to a hey, back off. In order, in order to make some changes, I have to turn something off before I can turn something on. So I don't think that frog is correct. I think rat is correct. So I'll come back over here and see if that made a difference. And I hit the buzzer. It did. I went to two, and I continued to do that until I got all six correct. All right, and then I'd be off to Suriname, whatever the way it's spelled. Okay. All right, here we go. We're going to give you your own category, Don, and we're going to give you 60 seconds within which to do it. You ready? Let's look at Don's answers. Only 11 thoroughbreds have ever captured horse racing's classic triple crown, winning the Kentucky Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont Stakes all in one year. Six of those winners are listed here. We want you to find them. Don, are you ready? Right. 60 seconds and go. There's six. See how you did. Three. Plenty of time left. Hit the buzzer. Hit the buzzer. Three. Still three. 43 seconds. That's five. 38 seconds. 35. Two. You went down. You got two. Keep going back. 30 seconds, Don. That's five. That's only five. Go put one more. That's five. That's it. Now you're back. 20 seconds. Four. You're moving up. 18, 17, 16, 15, 13, 12, 11, 10. Let's see how you did. Four. Seven seconds. Six, five, four, three, two. Get back. Get back. One. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, four. You gave it a you gave it a great draw. That's a tough one. Let's take a look at the right answers. Show them to us if you please. There they are. You had you had four. Seattle Sleuth, World Away, Secretariat, Count Fleet, Citation, and Assault. Good shot at it though. Wow, it was a tough one. All right, we're coming back after these words. Stay with us. Oh. If you would like to be a contestant on Wipeout and plan to be in the Los Angeles area sometime in the near future, we'd love it if you'd give us a call on our Wipeout contestant hotline at area code 213-463-0161 weekdays, 9 to 5 Pacific Time. Now let's return to Wipeout and Peter to Markin. All right, thank you, and I'm back with Don. Don, I got to ask you, uh, expertise in on Ben Franklin, expertise, geography, obviously. Have you traveled to South America? Uh, a few days only. All right, but you got to be in correspondence with people in many countries. Ah, that helps you then. Now, with respect to uh, horse racing, Triple Crown winners, that's not something you're terribly familiar no, that's, with. Not my beat. <laughs> not, not my beat. Well, let me tell you a couple things about the uh, winners here. Seattle Slough is 1977 Triple Crown winner. Uh, World Away was 1941. Secretariat, 1973. Count Fleet, 43. Citation, 1948. And Assault, 1946. And I would have picked Man of War as well, but Man of War is the most famous Kentucky-bred thoroughbred, but never raced in Kentucky. Interesting statistic. Must have walked in Kentucky, but never raced in Kentucky. So there's an interesting little tidbit for you folks at home as well. Uh, you got yourself the $825 that you got in cash in round one, and you're going to Cancun, right? I look forward and to that never been. lesson. And Don was saying he, he doesn't... Wait a minute, at this point, Don doesn't have anyone to go with him to Cancun. Is, is there a volunteer? One, two. <laughs> you got plenty to pick from, Don. Well, have a great trip. Send us a little postcard, will you? Yeah. Enjoyed having you with us. It's been Thank a real you. pleasure. All right. Fun for me. Until uh, next time on Wipeout, with Don leaving with $2,891, this is Peter Tamarkin saying thanks for being with us. Bye-bye. Some member of our studio audience may receive White Westinghouse family size 17 cubic foot frost free refrigerator freezer with chilled meat keeper compartment, cantilevered shelves, and glide out rollers from White Westinghouse. Some of our departing contestants will receive the next, bringing your family delicious meals in minutes, recipes in this month's women's magazine. Doesn't your recipe deserve pre
and the next generation in salon style nail lengtheners. Gel Formula Lee sculptured nails, brush on like polish. Gel Formula Lee sculptured nails. And Q-tips, there's no softer, safer swab for your family. Because a swab by any other name just isn't the same. And now Lee has made the French manicure easy and affordable with Lee Press On Nails, the French manicure. And salon formulated Termax Silver Shampoo and Conditioner. Tones down brassiness, enhances shine in gray, graying, or frosted hair.